I've covered a lot of strange art crime and just strange crimes. Yeah. This one, I was like, why did it, how did we get here? Okay, so you are the host of The Mission, mm -hmm. which is a new documentary series. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Give us a brief overview of it and why you wanted to host this series. So the story is um, in the middle of the West Australian bush is a 200 year old Spanish monastery built by exiled Spanish monks, which is good enough. Yes. And in the mid 1980s, these two not particularly skilled criminals broke in and stole what was thought to be millions of dollars worth of religious art. In fact, possibly the most impressive collection of religious art that most people didn't know existed in the middle of this uh, uh, monastery. And we follow the story of how it happened and also all the unfollowed up threads, unfollowed up is not a phrase, but let's imagine it is, uh, all the different threads that come from it. And actually, if you start pulling at the threads of this particular crime, what you find is a whole bunch of other crimes. And so all of these roads kind of lead back to the mission. And then before I knew it, I was standing in front of the Trump building in New York. I went all the way to, um, to London and Manila. It's wild how many tendrils reach from this one incredibly odd crime. Really interesting. I do aim for him still. Yeah, I, I mean, like, you I, I settle for, oh, he's there and he's talking, but I'm aiming for him still. Well, you've hit the mark, Randall. Right? <laughs> You've hit the mark. Hey. hey! I'm really sorry about that. You know, obviously this story is it's more than just the art heist. Mm -hmm. You know, there's um, a lot of things uncovered about the history of mm -hmm. New Norcia. There was quite a lot of things that developed along the way. What was that like, that process and interviewing people and... Well, I knew a little bit of the history of why the building was built. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as I, we, you know, as soon as we realised that where the crime would take place, we did a little digging in. And it became very apparent that that, that location in Norcia was the site of some truly horrific crimes that weren't our art crime. And it became quite clear that if you're going to tell the story of this one crime in Norcia, you couldn't ignore the fact that it was the site of so many others. And so the first time I visited, was we were going to film there. And what I did was before we started filming anything, I just sort of wandered around. I just had a look and sort of took it in and I kind of sat with it. And I will say, as soon as you walk onto the land, you do feel like you're stepping onto something. You, step, you feel like you're stepping into history. Something has happened here. You can feel it. I don't know how to describe it. And then talking to survivors of it, it really colours and shapes how you see the buildings. And I think that was really important. I think. Your impression of that space is entirely dictated by who you're listening to at any one given moment. So you can hear it from the point of view of the journos or the cops or the criminals. You can hear it from their point of view, but then when you hear about it from the point of view of the victim, it becomes something else entirely. And I think in that regard, it's, um, it is quite an alarming place to step around. Because once you know, once you know what actually happened. Yeah. yeah. Why is this important series and what can we learn? I think if this had happened somewhere else, it would already be serious. Interesting. I think we ha this this land that we live on is filled with amazing, strange occurrences that I think often get lost. You know, like this is a this is a genuinely weird chapter in Australian history. It's a strange crime that reveals even stranger crimes. And I think we have to tell those stories. When we talk about history, particularly in this country, we tend to like, we tend to broad stroke it a little yes. bit. You know, like here are the big events, here are the big turning points, here are the big people. Wow. That's Australia. Yeah. And actually, this land and all lands are made up from small stories. Small strange stories. Um, and they, and what I look for whenever I make a series for anyone or about anything is, I'm looking for a small doorway into a big world. So here you have this one unusual crime and then you open and it's entertaining and it's weird and then you open up the door and it, it actually suddenly opens up a very big, crucial chapter in how this land came to be. And that's what I look for, whether it's a podcast or a documentary series or a film. I'm looking for this one digestible idea that's like so strange that you cannot help but lean into it. Um, and then once that door is open, it reveals a whole bunch of other things. I think the best case scenario for me is when people come to me after one of the series that we've 
you know, documentary series is made here. He goes, I cannot believe you made me care about blah. Like, I think that is success to me. Yeah. So I'm often looking, and, and I, like I said, it's, we're a team, so we're often looking for unusual sort of entry points for the audience that will reveal something much bigger about who we are and how we got here. Well, it definitely, that definitely happened many a time in the, in the series. <laughs> success. <laughs>